haven't done a video in a while, so I wanted to make this while I'm working on the next working man. My latest brain worm lately has been the Game Boy Advance. I used to shit on it back in the day because there is a lot of shovelware on the system. But man, when you find a good game on the GBA, normally it's really good. You got stuff like Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, Golden Sun, the Final Fantasy ports, Sonic Advance, and no, I don't mean that Sonic the Hedgehog port that was put on the GBA. That sucked. Advance Wars, and the thing that got me into the GBA lately, the Castlevania Advance Trilogy. I recently sat down for a few days to finish Aria of Sorrow, and after completing it and getting every ending in the game, I think it's my favorite Game Boy Advance game of all time. And it made me fall in love with the GBA all over again, and now I want to start collecting cartridges. Those that follow me on Twitter knows that I've been collecting Xbox 360 lately, and I've just about got every game that I wanted. So now I'm going to start collecting for the GBA. Now I've got plenty of things that I can play GBA games on. I've got two GBA SPs, I've got a DS Lite, but the one thing that I don't have is an original Game Boy Advance. I sold mine a long time ago. And right around the time I went GBA crazy, my birthday happened and I got some birthday money from my parents. And I said, if I'm gonna buy a Game Boy Advance, I'm gonna buy the absolute best one I could possibly buy. And I saw this one on eBay and fell in love. Look at this thing. We've got a Castlevania Aria of Sorrow shell with red buttons, and we've got an IPS LCD screen with a backlight and a rechargeable battery. And when I bought this thing, I had enough left over in my budget to buy a reproduction cartridge of Mother 3 and a little multi-cart that has all three Castlevania games on it. I can play that until I get the real deal. Now, I know what you're going to ask me. Why? Why would you buy something like this when you can easily play GBA games on an emulator? And emulators are great, but I'm telling you right now, there is one thing those emulators cannot replicate, and it's the experience. There is still something amazing and cool about playing playing the games on the original hardware. And yes, I know there's way better ways to play these games nowadays, but I cannot tell you how comfortable and fun it is to just lay down on my couch with a GBA in my hand and just play Pokemon Fire Red or something. Man, that experience takes me back to when I was a kid and just sitting there on my couch or laying on my couch or laying in my bed playing my GBA SP, trying to finish Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble in the Wii hours of the night. That's what it was all about, man, and stuff like that can't be replicated. I know the other question you're gonna ask. Well, Stu, if you had a DS Lite and a GBA SP, why would you get a Game Boy Advance? I mean, those have a backlit screen. I'll tell you exactly why. Ergonomics. The original Game Boy Advance was so much more comfortable to play. And I might be in the minority on this, but I don't like the clicky buttons on the SP. I like the membrane buttons on the GBA more. It feels more like a controller. And this one, since it has a backlit screen and a rechargeable battery, it has all the things that a DS Lite and a GBA SP had, but with a much nicer looking screen. But talking about original hardware again, man, there's just nothing like playing the real deal. I've got other handhelds that can play Game Boy Advance because I hacked them to do it. I've got a Vita. I've got a Switch. Look, here's my Switch playing Aria of Sorrow, and it looks nice, and it's a big, nice screen. But since the Switch is a lot bigger, it kind of feels unwieldy. I have always felt that the Switch isn't as comfortable to play as the smaller consoles. And yes, I have bought the bigger Joy-Cons with the bigger grips on them. That didn't help. Really, all it boils down to is I love the Game Boy. I have always loved everything about Game Boys. Ever since the original Gray Brick. Look, here's my Gray Brick I got for Christmas on 1995. I was five years old. My big games were Tetris and Super Mario Land 2. The screen has gone bad on it, so I don't play it anymore, and I really need to get another battery cover. But one day, I'll restore it. Unfortunately, I sold a lot of my original Game Boy games that I had as a kid, and that's that's one of the reasons I want to start a collection, because I want to get those games back. Along with the stuff I missed out on, like the Castlevania Adventure and Belmont's Revenge. I want to get Oracle of Ages and Seasons, because I missed out on those back in the day. And I want to start a collection of Game Boy games that had awesome soundtracks, like the Turok games, the Smurfs games. Dude, the Turok Game Boy music sounds like Keijin music. Listen to this. You know what else 
else I like about the Game Boys, you can stick them in your pocket. The Game Boy Pocket, the Color, the SP, the GBA. I used to stick them suckers in my pocket all the time. Although I actually did have a carrying case for my Game Boy Color. It was green and had Pikachu on it. I really want to get that one back again. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all today. I'm still working on a new Working Man episode. It's going to be a really long one, so it's going to take a while to get out. I just wanted to give y'all something to watch. I wanted to wax nostalgia about the Game Boy since I bought this new GBA. And I wanted this video to be more than, oh, check out this cool shit I bought. Anyway, that's all I got for you for now. I'm Stuart K. Riley. See y'all later.